There's not been many 146s made in snooker. I think you can count them on one hand, that's for certain. He might not even pot the last points. black, just one. being really annoying. 124. Quickly going back to Barry Pinches, he's had a, every chance in this match, but this is the O'Sullivan we love to watch. <laughs> he's on a 146 and still playing it, exhibition shots. 133. The boy is a genius. Now is he going to play and pot the black? Wouldn't surprise me if he, didn't, if he played a double. The boy undoubtedly is a genius, a magnificent break of 146. Barry pinches it could have been a match that's gone away. Roddy O'Sullivan looks up in the commentary box with a wry smile. He goes into the next round, a very comfortable 4 1 winner. I've put uh, 10 fingers up to say it's 10,000. Sometimes he doesn't try, sometimes if it's not enough. Yeah, I think he might try this time. He didn't look too impressed when he said it's only 10,000 as well, did he? <laughs> It's amazing he can keep his concentration when it's like this. I mean, he's not even trying at the minute. I mean, the boy is such a genius, he really is. 104. You see, he's not even going for one now. Because he's not, he felt it's not enough money. That's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> Just a look at the commentary box and smile. Oh, bless him. You have to love him. I've got to be honest, you have to love him. 112. Anything to make us unhappy, Ronnie will do it. Ladies and gentlemen, your champion, Ronnie O'Sullivan. Receiving the trophy, the cheque for £250,000 and the title 2012 Betfred.com World Snooker Champion, The Rocket, Ronnie O'Sullivan. Receiving a cheque for £250,000, the trophy and the title, 2013 Betfair World Snooker Champion, The Rocket, Ronnie O'Sullivan. Got on that black on that penultimate red if you'd have wanted to, or wasn't 10 grand enough? <laughs> no, no, I could have, I could have got on the, the black and made a, possibly made a 147, you never know. You know, get a bit twitchy, but um, I knew there was 10 grand on, I thought. <laughs> You know, uh, it's, it's too cheap. We're too bothered about the 10 grab. <laughs> no, well, sometimes you think, you know, to make a maxi is quite a massive achievement. You think, you know, if they're going to pay you 10 grand, I think it's worth a little bit more than that. So once the price raises up a bit, then I'll probably get, you know, I'll go for the one for.